Guys, there's a video going around showing a um, Nollywood actress Lizzie Anjori being accused of theft. Now, this video showed her um, at a market in Lagos um, Island, a coal market, where she was caught red-handed stealing or so the story goes she was almost um lynched okay you know how it is now in the market where the thief is caught when the thief is caught in the market hmm, nigerians and Lagosians especially do not spare you so in this market uh, initially the story was that she um stole gold and the story went wild you know the being that she is a celebrity but later on the story changed to now become um that she actually made a fake said that Lizzie Anjori actually went to the shop in um, October, November um, 2023 and bought goods worth, um, uh, worth 91,000 Naira. Now, he said she made a fake bank account a lot, then went back to, uh, then came back this uh, February to do some shopping. Now, according to this shop owner, as soon as she entered, they caught her, and that is what was seen. Now, I'm leaving you to watch the video yourself to see all that went down, how this actress was almost lynched. You know, she just got saved just by an inch of her life. Like, guys, just take your take your time to watch this video yourself. <laughs> I <laughs> Now, guys, you can see Lizzie and Jorin herself, you know, sitting down. Now, the actress has actually come out to give her own side that this story is this whole issue is very deep now according to her she went to get some um, accessories that is fashion accessories now all these appliques um colors and all these beautiful designs they add to dresses now she's saying that at the very first time that the the story about her stealing gold was just to taint her image okay now she said she there's nothing like gold in that shop first of all the shop sells applique so she went there she bought a plaque um november 17th 2023 and then she did a transfer now upon doing the transfer she now came out to ask the shop owner if he had received the alert he said no so she just left the shop she went around she was going around the market and she came back two hours later asked the guy again if he had received the alert he said yes so she packed her goods now this guy confirmed that he had seen the alert and released the goods to her now upon entering this safe shop again the guy raised the alarm and then she was initially instantly uh, captured and then her hijab was removed you know how it is in lagos now they, they made her they wanted her to sit down on the floor like a thief but she refused you know the story just went on and on you know they were saying they were going to lynch her they were getting things ready to burn her because if you look at this story quite all right you can all see that like uh, Lizzie and Jorin has come out to see this story is all a setup now she's allegedly she's saying that she has she's been set up allegedly by gist lover now this is not on this is uh, not has not been confirmed what we know is that this story was first um, released by gist lover himself she's saying that uh, she has had a beef with gist lover and a few other people and they all conspired to set her up now that if you look at this story very well there are so many loopholes like first of all Anyone who does a transfer eh, and it is fake knows that they've done a fake transfer. So why would you even go back to that same shop? Like, there is nobody who is that stupid. Like, why would you do a fake transfer in the first place? Then you now go back to that same shop again to shop, you know. Knowing that uh, these people have cameras, they have... um. 
uh, CCTV cameras all over the shop. And these people, they face such things a lot, so they are always on the lookout for such things. So why would she not go back to... Uh, to, to, to put herself in such a situation now she also said that uh, when the issue now came up she put a call through to her husband immediately now he now called the shop owner she gave the phone to her, the shop owner and the husband was like he was the one who made the transfer that particular day when the wife called him that he shocked the shop owner he said he didn't get the alert now according to him he said he was going to make another transfer of a hundred thousand naira that he will not go over to his bank to get his bank statement okay for that particular month and that transaction that the shop owner should send him his bank account so that he will send hundred thousand and then when he sees the alert when they've uh, they've rectified the issue he was going to send back that hundred thousand now this was what was concluded after she was now being accused of stealing now surprisingly this shop owner now switched off his phone he didn't send the account number to uh, Lizzie Angelou's husband. He didn't do nothing. So this just goes to it, it, there are so many red flags, red flags right here. So many unanswered questions. That just goes to show that this lady was likely allegedly um, set up. Like we know she has a lot of enemies in the Nollywood industry. I'm not going to be naming any names for security reasons, but it seems that people who are her enemy in the industry and outside the industry decided to set her up, but they did a very shady job of it. Guys, I'm going to be attaching a video showing uh, Lizzie and Jory's own side of the story to this whole issue. Now, just take your time to watch this video yourself. You know, see the lady come out to defend herself. Now, she came out to say that she was actually held down for four to five hours while the whole um, theft saga played out. But she came out, she was really pissed. She came out to defend herself. She um, mentioned people involved in this setup without actually naming names. Now, if you've been following her story on, the, uh, on the Instagram, and other social media platforms you will understand what uh, she's saying in the video so just take your time to watch this video so you get a full idea of what is really going on here me i no go exchange money yo. na accessories i go buy you you know say i be tailor na accessories i go buy you i bought the accessories last year november 17 when i reach my shop i go show you you know, see all these secretary children, them plenty everywhere. I go buy the accessories, 91,000 era. I collected the guy account details. My husband let me transfer the money. I asked the guy, did you see the money? He said, no, I left. I left for about two hours. Then after two hours, I came back. I asked him, he said, he has seen the money. I said, talk. And the guy gave me the accessories. In fact, I bought something from the other shop in front of the guy. That place, Nasseries, no be clothes, then they sell for that place. So, no be Nasseries. All this, yes, oh, all this, uh, you know, all this, uh, um, um, uh, all this color, all these stones, where would they tack and all that. Now, 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 Tom Jones be that place. So, where then they sell wedding accessories. Now that place, oh, sure you understand. They don't do everything where they don't do. As I can't go there, even me, I don't they call one guy self. I think say not the guy. I can't they, I can't see the guy. I say come, I don't they look for you safe. The guy can't tell me say into don't they look for me. I say what thing happen? He said the money where I transferred the other time. Say the money no go. I say why you no call me? The guy no talk. I say you for call me now. I say the money don't go. I can't ask him which month. The guy no remember the month. In the do I see we know remember the month. And you know say me, I be very smart person, very smart lady. I can't go because all the people who I do transaction with, everything where I buy that day, he day my brain. I can't go check the dates. I saw the dates. All this time the guy don't they gather them. He don't they gather all secretary members. Sure, you understand. They don't they call my name. And me, if I don't go buy accessories like that, I they always cover my head. I do you they see me now if I go by, I don't tell now. Thank God say, I don't tell now. Say I they all zoo. I know if you do a show like secretary. I know if you sleep around with politicians. Money that is meant for development of the country. I cannot steal it. I cannot collect it from government. So I work. And I know if you keep a scene, go they look for donations. So I work. I work. 
So I know they I, they always tell you guys how are they take us zoo. Immediately they don't strike me, come out my hijab. You know, say they know say how they use hijab. They don't strike me, come, come out my hijab. They come they tell me, make I sit down like I'm rubber. I say no, I know they sit down. The guy come they ask the guy, say, I pay you the money. The guy say no, I no pay him. I tell him, I pay you the money. The guy say I no pay. I say okay. Make I call my husband. I call my husband. My husband come say we don't they pay. we don't how much is ninety one thousand. My husband come tell the guy say send me your account details. I will pay you hundred thousand naira. If you see the ninety one thousand naira, then call me. Then tomorrow I will check my account. I will print my statement of account. So when we see the money, you go refund my hundred k. Now so the guy off in full. My husband come they call the guy on video call. The guy no pick. Now that time I know say something don't happen. So the one treated me like I'm robber. I know say na set up. First thing that strike my mind is Egbegbe. Because I remember say Egbegbe go exchange money. They can't talk say Egbegbe can exchange fake money. That is how they carry Egbegbe co prison. The guy spent seven years. The day when they go release the guy, they can't do uh, straight straight. They're going to talk, say, eh? the allegation, where they take, send the guy, go seven years prison. Say, now, false allegation. Now, that time, I can't they start to talk. I don't tell now. But when they, all of them plenty, oh, they don't go arrange waiting, where they go take, bond me. They can't tell me, say, me can go out. Then plenty, you get one woman. Where they don't, they abuse, they do, I can't enter the woman's shop. I can't sit down. I can't tell the woman. I say you talk, you they talk, say you steam secretary. Say me, I snatch person husband. I steal. She be you they walk. Why you go talk this kind of thing? She be you they walk. Why you so? Because you call me husband snatcher now. You won't kill me. I be what you won't do. The woman can't change mouth. I say the person secretary, where you they talk about? She never come market, come us you. I no show where you they talk about. Never come market, come us you. Me, I come market, come us you. And you now won't kill me. You now, them plenty, oh. Ah, them plenty. Ah, you know, say, I set up them plenty pieces. Them plenty. They are now telling me to go out. I can't tell them, say, if I go out, if anything happen to me, you say, you know, go, go. You know, say, me, I know, say, I set up. Sure, you understand? Four hours, I was there with them. Four or five hours, I was there. They were videoing. They were coming. They were bragging. Ah, along team, team Shekpeteri Lawo, team Enu Sho Lawo. Oh, ni kurumbi la ye. Oh, ni awo ma pani, awo ma nok pani, awo ma dano suni. They were doing all sort of things. And guess what? Phone me off. Phone ke jito wa lawo mi. Mo musita straight like this. Phone ke jito wa lawo mi. Mo musita. I did not bring out my second phone because they are ready to snatch anything from me. There were many. So I sat with those women there. Then my husband came after maybe four hours or thereabout. My husband now asked him, you purposely set my wife up. If truly, small, small. If truly, this is not a setup. When I asked you to send your account details, why did you have Guys, so that Peter, from the look of things, Lizzie and Jerome did not steal gold or make any fake transfer like she's been um, accused of. Now, this is allegedly a setup. Now, if you watch the video very well, she also mentioned those she feels uh, were involved or are involved in the setup. So, let's hope that this whole issue comes to the limelight. Let's hope that those involved are actually um, exposed. Now, a very dark man himself has actually come out to. Um, to take sides with her and to actually expose this setup for what it is so we are hoping that things actually that, that this setup is blown open and i will get to see everyone involved in it so guys we'll keep you updated on this issue obviously um if you're yet to subscribe please do so so you don't miss our update when it drops okay now guys please give this video a thumbs up if you like the content and i'll see you in the next video bye guys